Living Realty Group. Today I am with Amy, the owner of Ellipsis Boutique here in downtown Buda. This store is so refreshing. Your boutique is just eye-opening. It catches your eye from every angle. It's beautifully decorated. How did Ellipsis come to be? Thank you, Ashley. Oh my gosh, I'm excited you're here. Yeah. Um, Oh, Ellipsis came to be probably about five years ago, just wanting to bring the community or the customer service to a small community. And with fun clothing changing all the time, new trends coming, happy, bright, fun. I want to put a smile on everybody's face. It definitely so, does that. Yeah. When you walk in, it's just so airy. You feel light and you definitely have good lighting in here. It's yes. perfect for like all those TikTokers and influencers to come try on and yeah. do their stuff. Um, so how do you keep up with like you mentioned all of the trends in here like there's trends in here that totally navigate to you know the high schoolers mm -hmm. where there's senior events yeah. or a mom that wants to have a night out how For do you sure. totally wrap that all in into one perfectly packaged boutique you know I I really feed off of my style I've got a lot of casual style vibes in myself yeah. but yet I also know that you sometimes want to dress up and have fun and in the different ways um, honestly just keeping up with the trends is just kind of watching all of your Instagram all yeah. of your Facebook um, seeing what's going on on like in the magazines and things like that yeah and all my my uh, my brands they help a lot with their new styles coming out and yeah. stuff. so it really is it's fun yeah it is I have to say I've actually sported a lot of your actual outfits for my clothing so I can dress okay. it up and yes. then after we go celebrate it's totally casual right, at the same time. So, right. what, and I have to say, you not only have clothing, you have great gifts, like from accessories to candles. I have to admit, there's times where I have to attend a birthday dinner next year at Mudbugs and spaced doing a birthday gift. Right. And I come in here, you wrap it up all perfectly and make me look like I have my life Good. organized. That's what we want to do. Clearly didn't happen. <laughs> that but yeah. that is the secret behind it all. So, yes. I mean, you, this is like a one-stop shop. You have your handbags, you have accessories. Tell us a little bit about some of the accessory brands you have in here. I tried, that was another thing. It's just kind of, you, you don't want to just have clothes. Yeah. You want to have all the fun stuff to go with it, yeah. whether it's jewelry. I've got some great, like the Tula Blue jewelry, Brian Anthony. beautiful. And what I love with some of these um, lines is they're they're more local. Yeah. They're, they're at least more Texas-based. Yes. Like either Austin or Corpus Christi. Um, I love bringing that in as much as I can. Yeah. Um, so some great jewelry, the candles are fabulous. Your what sunnies, else? I love oh, your yeah. sunglasses. My, my sunnies are great and yeah. you need sunnies. I, I mean, for yeah, sure. I have like six pairs yeah. because I forget one somewhere. And well, it's nice because they're reasonable. So if you forget mm -hmm. it, it's not breaking the bank, right, you know? Right. Learned that a long time ago. Yeah, um, exactly. But so, you even have like bath bombs that are perfect yes, for kids and fun. whatnot. Yeah, so. one-stop shop, exactly. Yeah. You yeah. Try to do all the gifts and and all that fun stuff to make your your life easier yeah when you're coming to make a stop i don't want you to go to the mall i don't you don't need to go to the mall no. you can come and do you know support small business and locals and find everything you need yeah and i want to say i mean from my perspective i want to say the mall is kind of a dying breed so that yeah. you're bringing this all here it is great that you can find a piece of clothing you also have shoes that can mm -hmm. coordinate with it you can mm -hmm. find the matching accessories a handbag you are ready to hit the town sure. and look just spot on yeah. so that is amazing that we have that here in downtown beauty area you know and even being right here you're close to so much you have you know mud bugs right mm -hmm. next door you have nates over there you have water to wine so it you you can literally spend hours in this vicinity supporting right. local right. which is great yeah yeah and i honestly I'll tell you the truth, when I go to the mall, I'm so overwhelmed. Yes. I walk into a clothing shop and I just don't even know where to begin. Yes. There, you know, I, people either want to help you, over help you, and that turns me off, or you can't find anybody for help. Right. I mean, that's one of the big things that I wanted to bring to Ellipsis is the customer service. Mm -hmm. One on one as best as I can. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and that's part of a smaller boutique is having that. And we try on several different pairs of jeans to find the right fit right. and the right style. And you know, and it's just that's I love that. People yeah. come in and feel comfortable and they're like, hey, I'm going to a wedding this weekend. What can we do? Or 
you know, date night, yeah. Friday night, I, you know, new date, yeah. where, new guy, what do I wear? Yeah. You know, we just have fun and try different things on and stuff. Well, and they so. feel confident with their purchase also because it's great quality, but they're supporting local. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I mean, there's times where I'll buy something online and it's definitely not what it looks like right. in the picture oh, yeah. and does not or fit flattering. Yeah. yeah. So it's nice that you have, you know, places you can come try things on and totally, you know, in the mirrors feel like you own that right. outfit, right. which, you know, is, right. speaks volumes. Yes. Um, now, with the coming out of the pandemic, mm-hmm. how did that? Ha- how did your business take on the pandemic? I have actually witnessed and been partaking in some of your Facebook lives with a cocktail in my hand. Yes. So we just kind of had to take a beat and step back and decide how we needed to proceed. I didn't want my clo- my store to close. Yeah. I didn't want you know. I mean, I didn't want anybody's store to close. I didn't even you know. Everybody was so unsure. Obviously, yeah. we all know that. But um, yeah, just pivoting and doing the best I can could to keep things relevant and, and remind people that we're here and that we're here for them. Yeah. Because that was another thing. Everyone was just like in such a such a weird state. A funk, yeah. And so then once it was kind of like you know what, I'm not going to be able to open for a while. Let's. I've got all this great inventory because things were still kind of coming in. Yeah. You know, not like they used to because everything was shut down. Right. But I had a lot of inventory and great things on the floor. It's like, I need to do something mm-hmm. to show people what we have. So that's where the the um, the Facebook Lives came and it was uh, gal- Wednesday Wines yeah. Day or Gals Night Out. Yeah. Gals Night In is what it was called. Um, I so thoroughly enjoyed it. Did, I did. <laughs> yeah. and I had so, so much great feedback from it. And I think it just really, I mean, I know what it did for me. It made me feel like they were in my store. Like yeah. I was part of the community and like we were, like we were talking again yeah. to people live. That you know I have I mean? to say at the beginning of everything, that is what I missed the most was the social interaction, interaction and yeah. seeing the smiles and the faces and the familiar people and yes. stuff. So that you were able to bring that on Facebook where people were at home, stuck in home. Right. You encourage them to drink, you know, have right. a cocktail, well, and I was doing the same. Oh, I, mean, I was having a fun time. It was too. a good time. You were and safe. Showing, I mean, yeah. so I, it yeah. was enjoyable to watch. And also, something a service that you provided that I didn't see many other services. You were delivering. Oh yeah, for like sure. you were like in your car oh, doing yeah. door we, delivery, just like DoorDash. Yes, <laughs> I know, and that I mean that was fun. And wow, I got to get to know Buda and Kyle area quite well. Yeah, I bet. You're like, oh, my GPS says it's two minutes away when yeah, it's really it's twenty. Not. Yeah, and then you, and then all of a sudden, out of the next day, like because you know within like 24 hours or whatnot, way better than Amazon, you guys. Right? Oh yeah, for sure. Sure. But like the next morning, you have this cute little pink package yeah. on your doorstep of what you fell yeah. in love with the night before and ordered. Yeah. So, no, that yeah. is a quick turnaround. So it, and it worked too. Like if you had some special, of, I mean, not really events, right. there wasn't any events, but if you wanted to dress up and feel good about mm-hmm. yourself, I mean, you have these adorable, that I actually bought, <laughs> um, camo short all sweat yes. things. I think I lived in those oh, at know. home, so they were so comfy and cozy, and I didn't get any judgment yeah. when I'm wearing short all. So not. I'm yeah. using meetings. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just making sure it's here. Yeah, yep, for sure. Um, so, what do you kind of have working in the future? What are your goals with Ellipsis, and what do you have in the works? You know, just just continuing to do what I'm doing. Yeah, just bringing in as much local like Texas local goods I can, keeping people happy, smiles on their faces. Yeah. You know, just, that's kind of it. Yeah. Just day to day. And we, of course, are, we're getting back into our sip and strolls. Yes. Downtown oh, Vegas. oh, I so miss fun. that. Oh, I know. Oh. Totally. So there's one coming up the end of June. So we're so excited to be back and yeah. try to, you know, make that work. And yeah and get that back out for everyone to come and enjoy. I don't know how it'll be exactly, mm-hmm. you know, but um, it's just, yeah. So things like that are yeah. just back in the works. Yeah, and getting back to those community activities yeah, that help the sure. small businesses thrive and whatnot. And that, like I said, it's great to see you collaborate with other businesses here oh, too. Yeah, so for sure. I've expressed it before, you guys aren't worried about being in the same sandbox per se. Mm-hmm. And so if you don't have something, someone else might offer something. Mm-hmm. Like I asked you before, if you, you know, provided lavish leathers. You said, no, they have a boutique right here. You know, I want to give them that, mm-hmm. that spotlight. For so sure. then you shared that spotlight with another 
you know, local artists right. as well. So that's great that you're all collaborating together to bring more awareness to those small Absolutely. businesses, local businesses. Absolutely. And the fun thing is, is if I don't have something, I will text or call right down right to Mercantile or yeah. the Red Door uh -huh. or the Bluebird and the see Blue if they Bird. have something, you know, yeah. for the customer that's looking for something specific that I yeah. have. Yeah. And that's, they do the same back to me. Uh -huh. and that's, yeah. That's, so that is the important. whole epitome of a small community. community. What you to bring. Yes. So let's do something fun. Okay. How about you dress me up? Okay. No wow. pressure. Ashley, no pressure. No pressure. I'm, just, I'm eyeing that we'll rumble honest. right behind you. I'm going to be honest, I might have a farmer tan right, from football fair, this fair. weekend, but we, we'll play with it. That's so. understandable. I've got it. All, All right. right. Let's, let's go. go. Okay. Thank you! <laughs>